What's happening? What's happening? ¿Qué pasó? Y'all guys like the intro? This is Rickma right here. Guys, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, man. Like, why is GTA Online bad? I mean, I'm being dead serious, bro. I don't know if it's just me. But, yo, these these recent weekly updates been garbage, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're not the same no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever happened to... When Rockstar used to put good adversary modes, bro. Good adversary modes that will be like that they put for triple money or if not double money in RP, bro. Like they used to do that with Deadline. Trapdoor is okay. Like they used to put Sumo in there, Sumo Remix. Um, um there's like a whole bunch, bro. And they, they're not even doing that now, bro. I'm telling you, bro. GTA Online, I don't know, bro. It's really aging, bro. It's starting to show big time, bro. You already saw and witnessed how freaking underwhelming and boring and dry and mid that DLC was, bro. The Drug Wars DLC was a big disappointment, in my opinion, bro. The way that they're handling the drip feed now, bro, with that DLC, bro. I'm sorry, bro. They are dragging it, bro. What, what, what is it now with the point, bro? They are literally having to drip feed tattoos, masks, clothing, bro. Like, you, bro, they're dragging it, bro. Like, they're literally stretching it as long as they can, bro. That freaking sucks, bro. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, bro. Like I said, bro, the drip feed for me, in my opinion, don't even do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they, they just ruined the whole drip feed, bro, for me, bro. It's just nah, bro. That joint gets me mad, bro. And then the freaking weekly events, bro. Like I said earlier, bro. They're not good anymore, bro. It's freaking garbage now, bro. Like, I remember when they would put... Let's say... MC businesses, right? MC businesses, right? All of them used to be worth double money. Double money in RP if you're doing all of them. You make big. You make a big amount of money, bro, right there, bro. Now, they only choose two. Let's say, let's say for this upcoming week, they'll put the cocaine and meth. Double money in RP. But what about the counterfeit? The document? The weed. What about them? You know, a matter of fact, they're not even, they don't even put them double no more, bro. They only put them 50% more, bro. 50% more, bro, for just those two businesses, bro. And then the following week, they'll put the same thing for the next two businesses. Like that, bro. You know? You guys get what I'm saying, bro? And then what's up with Target Assault, bro? That's a good mode, bro. You, you call one of your friends or your cousin if they play GTA Online console whatever bro bro you can literally choose who your teammates are bro i mean you only get there's only teams of two one of you is the driver and one of you is the gunner all right and then it'll switch per round and then it'll switch the other person becomes the driver you become the gunner so on and so forth and you have to shoot the targets to gain points whoever has the most points and if you're like top three well, top one, but you're in first place. You gain additional points for um completing the checkpoints. You know what I'm saying? That game mode is freaking lit, bro. I don't know why they don't put that on the event that people could do, bro. Like, that's a, that's in a really enjoyable, cool event, bro. You know what I'm saying? Rockstar got all these nice modes, bro, and they're not even using it, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? And then they keep on freaking prior prioritizing right part toy i didn't even know how to say my words but that's how mad i am they prioritize these missions bro these boring missions bro they're over here making it double money in rp bro you know like the 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 missions that came with the drug wars dlc bro like bro clearly bro nobody wants to do those bro and then another thing with the contract missions, bro. Remember back then in the contract missions? I'm talking about like the old Trevor missions. You know, like the phone missions. The Lester missions. The Ron missions. 
Bro, back then, bro, they used to put every single mission, bro, double money and RP, bro. Now they don't do that, bro. They only choose like a character or two. Like, let's say for the Lamar missions, the Lamar contract missions. That mission, the, his missions will only be now double money and RP. Not Lester's, not Ron. Maybe the next week or the following week, maybe they'll get their double money and RP. You see how you see how it's changing? It's changing for the worse, bro. I'm not a big fan of this, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You know, I used to be a fiend for online, bro. I used to like grind, bro. I used to grind the businesses. I used to do everything, the CEO crates. And the thing that's stopping me from me from doing that, bro, it's just it's just the freaking NPCs, bro. The NPCs as well. The NPCs, bro, they just ruined the whole experience for me, bro. That just makes me do not want to play no more, bro. I'm telling you, bro, they need a nerf. They need to nerf these NPCs' accuracy, bro. Because their accuracy, if you guys been playing GTA recently, you guys know what I'm talking about, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at the hangar, the smuggler run, bro. That joins triple money in RP, and I guarantee you, bro, nobody's doing that, bro. Them NPCs, bro, they will kill you in the instantly, bro. Bro, when you do a mission, a supply mission or whatever, bro, these NPCs won't allow you to breathe, bro. That's how powerful they are, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. GT Online is trash now, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I mean, I, I may check in here and there, but the majority of the time, bro, I don't, I'm don't. i not, not a big fan, bro. Not a big fan whatsoever, bro. And griefing, that joint's, that joint's forever going to be a thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even mad at the griefing no more because, you know, like I said, bro, they're, those people, they're probably bored of this game too, bro. This game is about, this game is already a decade old at this point, bro. So you can't really blame the griefers for making your day bad, bro. You know, they're probably just bored of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, GTA Online has so, like, I, even even if it's, it's like 10 years old, 10 plus years old, bro. This game could be the biggest game ever still. You know what I'm saying? If only they would listen to the community and what we truly want, bro. I feel like Rockstar just makes up dumb things, bro. Dumb things, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? And like I said, bro, every single time, bro, when there's a new week, every Thursday, I look either TDG's video, GTA men, or whoever, bro, or sometimes I'll go to the website. I'm like, okay, let's see if it's adversary mode or something. Nope. It's something stupid, bro. Something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, bro. GTA Online has changed for the worse, bro. For me, bro. They need to do better with these weekly events, bro. If not, I'm not going to be playing like that no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? They need to they need to lower them NPCs. Them accuracy, bro. Like I said earlier, bro. That's the number one thing, bro. That's like that's that's a turn off for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll say, like, the weekly events used to be good. Well, before they used to be good. Like, ever since Caillou Perico came out, bro. When the Caillou Perico came out, that's when the weekly events changed, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they should have just left that heist alone, bro. Now, I barely do that heist no more because, number one, the cooldown. Number one, now if you kill a guard or two, those other ones that you let live, they're going to be able to see that, bro. No, bro. That's awful, bro. That's trash. And then another thing with the with the podium wheel, they should replace the the RP for those that don't need RP. They should replace that and put it with the reputation for the car meet. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that's another thing that's to turn off, bro. When you do a race or a mission or a customer vehicle. Whatever thing you do for the um for the tuners, anything for the auto shop, whatever, bro, bro, they need to freaking upgrade that nerf, like upgrade the reputation system, bro. That joint's garbage and trash, bro. You do a single thing, bro. That joint only moves an inch, an inch, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Instead of like putting like all these dumb, boring trash activities that nobody wants to do these missions that nobody wants to do they should put 
let's say for like the auto shop missions or anything that you do with the car meet any car meet activities put that triple reputation double reputation and money bro you know what i'm saying <sighs> yo you know what yo i'm just mad bro i just yo i just don't want to be bored bro you know what i'm saying like like I said, GTA Online is filled with freaking so many things to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially the deadline. I don't know about y'all, but I love doing deadline, bro. All you need to basically start up that mode is two people. You and a buddy, bro. If you want to have the best experience, guess what? The maximum is four people, bro. The four of y'all can have fun, bro. Rockstar don't even put that. Of the weekly event. Put that triple money in RP anymore, bro. Freaking miss that, bro. And then they put, like, trash vehicle on discounts, bro. Who, bro, who remembers the last time when the Batmobile, when that was, um, discounted, bro? I'll wait. Exactly, bro. I don't even remember when's the last time they did that, bro. They put like random things, bro. Especially the things that you already have. Yo, I remember, bro. They used to put bomb, bomber, bomber discounts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, put things discounted that we actually want and buy, bro. Yo, yeah, bro. I don't like GTA Online, and especially, bro, what's going on with the PC community, bro? The modders are, run, are running rampant, trying to ban people off their accounts and all that, bro. What is that, bro? We all know what happened, bro. Remember when they removed the anti-cheat? Look what happened, bro. <laughs> I just don't understand, bro. Yo, you know what? I need to get off of this, bro, because I could talk about this for hours, bro. And I know you guys don't want me to hear this. <laughs> but, like, you know, I know you guys agree with me, bro. Leave a like if you do. Comment if you disagree or what you think GTA Online could be better of these weekly events. Because, yo, these weekly events is just terrible to me, bro. Freaking boring and underwhelming, bro. Don't even get me started about that freaking drip feed, bro. Yo, you know what? I need to get off of here, bro. Yeah, bro, if you agree with what I said, subscribe if you're new. Subscribe for more content. More rants are coming up, bro. I'm excited, bro. Like I said, I'm keeping active. All right, leave a like. Comment down below what you think. Share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Rikma signing off. Peace. Take care. God bless.